How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you two different types of PHP web shells. Uh, one is basically a simple one-liner and the other is a Base64 encoded interpreter shell. So let's get started. This right here is the first one. So it's very simple. It's pretty much a one-liner. Um, but the output is not so pretty because, you know, there's no formatting or, you know, there's no nothing. It just spits the data out that you, you know, request or whatever. So let's try and get this uploaded. We'll go to the web, to the IP address of the Metasploitable box and damn vulnerable web app. And if you don't know the password, you just go to inspect. Oh. You go to uh, view page source, and it's just at the bottom here. All right. So initially, what you want to do is actually lower the uh, security. So let's change it to low and make sure that the PHP IDS is disabled. I think it's disabled by default, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do need to um, change the security to low. So security set to low. So now what you want to do is go to upload, test shells, let's upload it. So as you can see it's been successfully uploaded. Now let's go to that file. Now it gives us an error initially if you go to the you know, file. So what you want to do is question mark Q equals and then whatever command you want to you know execute. So ls. So there's a directory listing and um, let's do netstat. So as you can see, it's very ugly, but you know it'll give you the <laughs> the information that you're looking for, or you know do whatever command you want it to do. As a matter of fact, let's do a simple ping. And there you go. So that's the first way right here. So let's start the second method over here, in the second web shell rather. Um, I already created one actually called Simple Shells. It's the Base64 encoded you know, um, interpreter shell. But um, I guess I can just. Um, I guess I can just remove it and let's make a new one. So what you want to do is msf venom dash p and sp specify the payload php interpreter verse tcp and localhost and put your IP address. In my case it is 10.0.0.15 and then local port which is 4444 and then the encoding, let's do php slash base64 and then file, let's put it in, let's just put in home cali and once again simple shells.php okay so let's make it an executable and we also need to add the uh, PHP um, PHP tags in the beginning and end. So it's uh, just that. All right, quit. Okay, so there it is. So let's try to get this uploaded. And, um, I think it's simple shells, yeah. Alright, so our interpreter shell has gotten uploaded. Now let's start a uh, payload handler here. Um, let's start Postgres first. And let's start my exploit framework. Alright, so use exploit multi handler. Now you want to set your payload 
to PHP, Mitzer, Pritzer. It's trying to do tab complete. Um, reverse TCP. So set localhost 10.0.0.15, or once again, whatever your IP address is. Now, now we're listening on port 444. Now what we want to do is actually execute this um, interpreter shell that we've uploaded. So let's go to command execution. Let's do ping. Then user and PHP and the uh, path to the okay so there we go and there you go I have a interpreter shell let's get processes um, obviously this is a lot better a lot easier to look at, you know. Um, let's do a. Let's actually get a shell. So here we go. Um, that's a lot better. It's formatted a lot nicer, and you know, you can do anything that you can do with the interpreter shell. So there you go. Those are the two um, different types of web shells, PHP web shells. And let me know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, thank you for watching.